Mr. Joe Cujo. Hello, my people. So in today's video, we'll be talking about rework and buff ideas for Newcastle's mobile shield. But before we get into that, I just want to quickly say we finally hit 2k subs. Thank you very much, guys. Y'all are amazing. Also, my internet cables and headset sadly died after two years. So content will be a little dry for these upcoming weeks until I'm able to replace them. So be with me for a while. Now, let's talk about Newcastle's tactical shield, aka mobile shield. It's been over a year since Newcastle has been released and this tactical only received two buffs which is the increased speed in movement and it's increased in damage intake. These buffs were pretty good at the time because the tactical shield was basically a paper deflecting bullet and the buffs actually made it more viable. So no one really complained at that time. But now we have some underlying problems, which I thought would be fixed by now, but I guess respawn actually think it's okay and just left it how it is. So now I'll be going into these five ideas, which I think will make Newcastle's mobile shield a lot more easier to use and encourage players to play more. Now, the first idea is make Newcastle's tactical shield indestructible. I've been saying this forever. This rework will not be OP in any shape or form. I don't know why Respawn is so afraid to do this. The current mobile shield we have is okay for pubs and rank, but in pro lobbies, it's terrible. Because when it comes down to end game and you're out in the open trying to rotate with your tactical to safety, it's gonna get deleted within a millisecond. Then you're left exposed just for you and your team to get focused by the entire lobby. I thought he was built to counter these situations as a mobile defender. He's supposed to be protecting his teammates while on the move from point A to point B. I'm pretty sure that is the purpose of his movable tactical shield. And right now it's not fulfilling that job very well. Not to mention all of these abilities that can easily counter it, plus it only blocks one direction. So I can't really see making the shield indestructible will be OP. You will only finally enable him to do what he's supposed to be doing, and that is to protect while on the move. Now on to number two, which is to please remove the bouncing place animation from Newcastle's tactical shield. I can't tell you guys the amount of time I died because my shield decided to bounce all the way into the heavens instead of being placed. This animation serves zero purpose other than grief you in a fight. I saw this happen in LGS and I just sat there thinking to myself, I really hope Respawn is seeing this because this is outrageous. There's also times when the mobile shield drone will get wedged in between stuff and not activate at all. I was trying to recreate this in the firing range but it's not that easy. But believe me when I say, this does happen sometimes. To easily fix this, you just need to increase the size of the collider hitbox. Not sure if I'm using the right phrase, but it's supposed to be an invisible box around objects that when it hits another object, it tells it what to do. That means if the size is increased, it will no longer wedge in between other objects. So respawn should remove the bouncing place animation and increase the hitbox of the shield drone. Now on to number 3, Newcastle's mobile shield should have the ability to activate and deactivate the top half of the shield. Now in the beginning when Newcastle was released in season 13, there was a trailer with Newcastle that showed him shooting with the top half removed. The first time I saw this I was like, hell yeah, this is gonna be so good for like entry fragging. Then he was released and it was never anything like that. But based on the trailer, it really feels like Respawn did think about it for a bit because what other reason would explain why the tactical shield is split in half? I genuinely up to this day still think this was the worst idea ever. Maybe the reason why they didn't follow through with the ability is because it was buggy or not ready yet. Whatever the reason may be, I think this would be a nice addition to his kit. But if Respawn still thinks this would be OP, then they should just make the bottom half indestructible. Now on to number 4. They should buff the speed of Newcastle's mobile shield. I know that it did already get a speed buff, but I genuinely think it's not enough. Apex Legends is a fast paced FPS shooter, which requires you to move and think quick. And right now the shield isn't quite keeping up with that. It just needs a slight more speed and it would be perfect. Now on to number 5, the most important rework of them all, and that is to totally rework Newcastle's mobile shield movement. This is one of the biggest reasons why players don't play him, because the movement of the shield is inconsistent. So first let's talk about how it currently moves. If I look forward and place my shield, the safe side is facing me, while the outer area is pointing in the direction I'm looking in. So that is good. 
Now let's say while it's already active, I look to my left and ping once. This is how it turns, which is no longer protecting me. Of course, if you're on MNK, you could easily ping forward, then back to realign the mobile shield. But what about controller players? This is very difficult and annoying. Not saying they can't do it. I'm just saying this is a little bit too much. Now, some of you guys might think this is nothing. So let me show you this. Let's say your mobile shield gets hit with a magic cube. In order to counter this, you can easily spin the shield around by pinging forward right or left, do a 180, ping behind you, then do another 180 to look back in front. Now, you're still protecting yourself with the other side of the shield. Now imagine, now imagine how difficult it is to do all these movements for controller players, hence makes Newcastle better used on MNK, which it should be like that. In order to fix this, the only thing they need to do is with every ping, the mobile shield should calculate the direction the player is looking in and make sure it moves to that area while looking in the same direction. Now I'm going to do a little visual example in Microsoft Paint. Please don't laugh, I'm not going to try. So here on the left, we have current Newcastle and on the right, we have my reworked Newcastle. So let's say current Newcastle activates his shield in front, then turns to his right, then pings once. The shield will move like this, which we don't want because in order to realign this, it's going to take more extra pings. Now on the right, we have the reworked Newcastle. He activates his shield in front and turns to the right and ping once. Now the shield will read and turn to the direction he's looking in, then move to, to the location I pinged. Plus, if you want to spin your shield around, the only thing you need to do now is to do a 180, ping once behind you, then another 180, and make sure you're behind the location you pinged. All of this now requires one ping. That's all it takes now. And just like that, Newcastle Mobile Shield would be a lot more easier to move for MNK users and controller users. For respawn dev ever happened to find this video, I just want to say you might think most of my ideas here are outrageous, but you can't say this last idea was. It's been over a year since players have been complaining that the movement of the tactical is weird and I generally think this could be the perfect fix for that. But anyways, if you guys have reached this far into the video, thank you for listening. Also, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you legends in the next one.